family is reeling from a fire tragedy. They lost a father and son when flames ripped through their house on Christmas night. When the father passed away at the hospital, his son died in that burning home. And tonight, family members say that's because that young man's final effort was an attempt to save his father's life. WBZ's Christina Rex has the story. Family tells me that son had already rescued four members of his family from this home as it burned on Christmas night. They say he then ran back inside to try to save his dad. 911, what's your emergency? 52 Freeman Street. There's a house fire. There's people inside. Trapped inside this burning home on Christmas night, a father and son didn't survive. 70-year-old Louis Arellis and his 28-year-old son Vlad shared a close bond. Him and his father is that one person. Is that one person? So close that after Vlad got his own family out of the burning home, he ran back inside to save his dad, who had suffered from a stroke and had trouble walking. Bye. Vlad's mother says his wife begged him not to go back in. Don't go, please don't go. The fire is too harsh. Don't go, don't go. And he went in anyway. And he didn't make it. The 28 year old was a husband, father of two, and aspiring dentist. He loved everybody. Everybody loved him. He was going to school. He was trying hard for his wife and kids. He didn't deserve this. His dad, a local store owner, known by many in the Haitian community. He's a good man. His shop, now closed until further notice. 28-year-old Vlad leaves behind a wife and two young boys. His mother, not even 24 hours after his death, is already preparing how to care for them. I have to I don't know how I'm going to do it. Vlad's wife and son are still in the hospital tonight, and the fire chief is urging everyone in town to make sure they have working smoke detectors. In Avon, Christina Rex, WBZ News.